It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th, okay? So we're just going to see, I think it's the 19th, I, I, I still haven't turned my calendar over, and I think yesterday was the 18th, so we're good. Um, so yeah, what do we have for a message today? Remember, if you have booked a reading with me, it is important that you email me and uh, respond to my email back to you. Okay, you can't just email me and then not check your email. Okay, so anyhow, uh, we have, I need more information. All right, so anyhow, uh, what do we have for around the 19th? What do we have for around the 19th? What do we have? Keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. King of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now that is, I don't know if there's impulsive behavior or not taking action. There could be some fear. There could also be anger. Let me get another card to go with that. Eight of Pentacles. Now the Eight of Pentacles is working, 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 putting in effort, you know, uh, working hard to create something. So we do have somebody here that is putting in a lot of effort or they're, they're trying to create something. This is a hard worker. So we definitely have a hard worker here. This is somebody that is very skilled at whatever they do. But the King of Wands in reverse is not, is typically somebody that's not taking the action that they need to take. Um, there's a lack of desire, lack of passion, lack of ambition. Um, so interesting. Um, there could be some sort of upset here. What is this King of Wands in reversed? Well, we got two cards. We get the Sun card and the Eight of Swords reversed. So the Eight of Swords reversed is removing an obstacle. There's been an obstacle. Maybe somebody has been trapped in a situation or they've been held back by fear or they've been in a place of mental turmoil, but this is an escape, and uh, the Sun card is a new beginning, okay? This is a beautiful new beginning. It's the birth. It's the birth of a new life. It is a rebirth. It is a fresh start. It is a yes answer. It is growth. It is seeing the light, um, removing an obstacle. So somebody is removing some sort of obstacle, um, they have been trapped in a situation, they, or maybe they've just been held back by, by work or held back by, um, oh, goodness gracious, held back by fear. Somebody has allowed themselves to be confined. They have restricted themselves from happiness because the Eight of Swords is restrictions, the Sun is happiness. So somebody has been restricting themselves. Ooh, look at that, we got the lovers. So the lovers is passion, this is a connection, it's a deep connection. There's some sort of, uh, I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like making love to me. Anyhow, um, I mean it does. This is coming together with somebody, removing a, a restriction, um, deepening a bond of some sort. Something, somebody is going to put in effort to connect with somebody. It could come very unexpectedly with the lover's card. That's an unexpected choice in love. This, these two people are getting together. I don't know if it's in a, uh, well, it looks like it's in a, a sexual manner. Somebody is removing a restriction. They are uh, making a choice to do so. Princess of Swords. Now this is the Page of Swords. This is somebody that is very curious, uh, that is going to do something. This is somebody who uh, may communicate what they want. This is some sort of communication that is coming. A message is coming. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and I say Gemini because of the lovers. Um, we also have Leo. We have, I said Leo already. So we have uh, Gemini, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have an individual here that is going to be 
sending a message. I feel like it has to do with getting together because of the lover's card. These two people, we have two people. It feels like they're, you know, uh, connecting on a very deep level. Somebody's going to be receiving, un and typically the page of swords is unexpected. It's like an unexpected message. Um, we have somebody here that is going to assert themselves in some way. They're going to put in a lot of effort. They are going to be putting in a lot of effort. Now, there could be a couple different options here because when you get the lover's card, there's options. There's two choices, obviously, because that's a card of choice. So we have somebody here that is making a choice to connect with somebody. Uh, they have been restricting themselves, but they are removing the obstacle. They are removing the obstacle that was causing them to restrict. And we have a new beginning here because the sun card is a new beginning. It is a, it is a breakthrough. It is a yes. Saying yes. Yep. The hermit reverse. So the hermit reverse is a reconnection. Time to socialize. Coming out of hiding. Done thinking about it. So I think we have somebody here that is about to do something. Uh, maybe it's very impulsive. Very spontaneous. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's some sort of insecurities here, instability. We may have some sort of. Uh, we have Virgo as well. We have Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, reconnecting, coming out of hiding. Uh, Queen of Pentacles reversed is not very nurturing, not very caring, not very generous. Um, choosing, there's another choice here. Somebody has been not taken care of. Six of Pentacles, getting what you deserve. Somebody's about to receive an offer after they have not been taken care of, after they have not been looked after. There's some sort of insecurities here, though. But the Six of Pentacles is about reciprocation. It's about receiving, give and take, equality. In, in, the, in the Lover's card is a Six as well. So that is about give and take as well. So I do believe we have two people that are getting together. They are. They're getting together where there will somebody's about to receive something that they, uh, I feel like they don't expect. They really, really, really don't expect it. There's been a lack, there's been a lack of stability. We have somebody here that's been lonely because of the hermit reverse. They've been lonely. They've been alone, but I feel like, I feel like things are about to change. Unexpected choice in love. Somebody's about to receive an offer that they do not expect. I wonder if somebody is meeting somebody at a job or something like that because of that Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Whatever this offer is, it is something that they don't expect. It could even be a work offer, but it could be a love offer as well. This is a breakthrough. It is a new beginning. Somebody may also receive news of a child. Somebody may have an unexpected pregnancy here. If if that's what, you know, I don't know. But there could be. There could be. There is some unexpected news that is coming. It's time for something. We have the we have the temperance on the bottom. It's it's time, and there's a need to, you know, remain in control, control your emotions, be fluid, but also be grounded, be open-minded, don't go overboard. Um, 
do something in moderation take your time take your time there's definitely a connection here this is probably meant to be because of the lovers card typically that that can be a, like a, something that is absolutely meant to be we obviously have two people that are very into each other that are getting together it's unplanned queen of pentacles reverse there's something here that is unplanned we have somebody that is going to be putting in a lot of effort Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed is short-lived success. Typically, it is, uh, I don't know if we got somebody here that is in a relationship where they have married for money or they're, they're some sort of, or they're in an unstable business or, or home life. Somebody is with an individual or they have been with an individual that is probably boring, doesn't take care of them, doesn't nurture them, uh, doesn't give them what they need, doesn't fulfill their needs. And oh, Ooh, we got the tower on the bottom. This is a this is a massive change, a massive disruption, an uproar. Uh, things are about to change suddenly. This is a, definitely a sudden change. Somebody's going to receive some news, or something is going to happen. This is a big surprise. This is a huge surprise. Get ready for a surprise. Um, major disruption of a foundation. Things are about to explode. We have somebody that, I don't know if they're getting angry. There could be some jealousy here as well with the with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. We may have somebody here that is, uh, I don't know, somebody, somebody could even be getting kicked out or getting thrown out of a home. This could be this, you know. This could be a fight. Could be an accident. I'm not sure what is happening, but I feel like there's something that is going to be revealed with that page of swords. Something is going to be revealed. It has to do. I don't know if it has to do with a another partner. Somebody has been held back. They've been restricted. They've been confined. The obstacle is being removed. Now they're free because the sun card is card of freedom. So isn't the ace of eight of swords reverse? We have freedom. They came out together. Freedom. Freedom from restriction. It's time to live with the hermit reverse. It's time to reconnect. You know, to uh, and and the sun card is about life as well. Tower is a massive change. Somebody is about to be surprised. They are about to be surprised by, I don't know if this is a new suitor or whatever it is, but this, it feels like there's a sudden change here. It doesn't have to be love. It could be a, whatever it is, there's an increase. There's an increase of, uh, Somebody is about to receive something that is going to bring them balance, put it that way, with these sixes. It's going to bring them happiness. It's going to, it's going to lead them towards, you know, the uh, balance and harmony. And it's going to lead them towards fulfillment and reciprocation and equality. There's two people here that see eye to eye. They have a lot in common. They can give to each other what they need with ease. They just, they, they fit. This is a good fit. It's a good match. I feel like there's, there's, a, there's going to be uh, an uproar on the home front or that causes somebody to take action very, very suddenly. There's also an internal disruption here. With the tower card, there's some sort of internal disruption. We may have somebody here that is seeing something with the, with the page of swords. That can be, you know, a spy, somebody that is watching, somebody that is investigating, somebody is seeing something. They may see that somebody is uh, giving to somebody else, or they may be seeing that they're losing something with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be giving up something. She's not giving anything. 
Maybe she's giving it to somebody else. Um, there is somebody else here because the lovers is an unexpected choice. It's an unexpected union. Somebody is making a choice. I think it's very sudden. They're going to be putting in effort into, uh, I don't know, somebody else by the looks of things. There could be a change in residence with the Ten of Pentacles reverse, whether it's a business or a, a you know, home. Ten of Pentacles reverse is a change on the home front. There could be a feud, a family feud. We have somebody here that has been lonely. They have been feeling alone. They have been neglected and they haven't been getting what they deserve. They're about to get exactly what they deserve. We do have a new beginning here. This leads to happiness. The restriction, the obstacle is being removed very, very, very suddenly. This is a sudden change. One more card. Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is about abandonment. It looks like we have somebody here that uh, has been abandoned. They've been uh, neglected. They've been ghosted. They're feeling very, very alone, feeling sad, you know, feeling cast out, feeling, you know, unappreciated. But we do have a new beginning here. This is This is passion. This could be a new sexual partner. Or whatever this is, it's exciting. This is an exciting new beginning. Just going for it. This is very exciting. This is this is the sword of pa or not the sword, the wand of passion. So this is a passionate new beginning. We do have a passionate beginning after somebody has been feeling down. They've been feeling down. They've been feeling alone. They've been feeling cast out. And we do have a new beginning here. This is exciting. It's very fertile as well. So, you know, for some of you, you know, there could be some sex that leads to pregnancy if that's where you're at in your life. Um, but whatever is happening, we have a bright, exciting new beginning here. And this is just go for it. Just go for it. Just say yes. Good luck. <laughs>